Uh, this is our log of a boiler install. This is the only access into the basement. It's a finished carpet, which we've got uh, covered over with a product. Really good quality. This goes down very nicely. I head into the boiler room. I should have gotten started on the demo. Got our uh, tri stand set up. Some of our tools, demolition tools in place. It's a uh, Well McLean EG85, which uh, lasted well over 30 years. So, uh, not bad, really. Not bad at all. Um, the installers probably should not have bushing down these guys. They uh, normally outlets are two and a half inch. They bushing them down to a two inch, and they went into a three inch header. And uh, as you can see, this is a collider header, so they've got steam coming in here, and they've got steam coming in here, and both are headed to this area, which would allow water to collect here and uh, possibly uh, generate wet steam. And there is the equalizer line and the attempt at a Harford loop. As you can see there, that's too long. It should have been a close nipple or a shoulder nipple. And there's the return. And there's the wet return with the uh, two check valves on either side of that plugged off um, 45 that T there which originally would have gone to a a boiler return pump uh, which is long since gone and that's the where the water seed goes into uh, so if you look here this is the original T it's a five by four by two T in cast iron uh, they've bushinged it down to three inch here, and they've bushinged the four inch down to three and a half here. And this goes off there, and then it goes off to the sunroom. And this goes off to the back of the house, which was having trouble uh, getting steam. And part of the reason was um, this restriction here, we believe. This is where the controls were mounted. Get another shot here. Let's see, uh, gas burner, gas uh, control valve, excuse me. This is where the other side of the feed control T, and this is the other uh, side of the wet return and the um, uh, assembly that was part of the uh, boiler return trap for the this. Uh, early 20th century vapor system. This is the main vent that we installed years ago, uh, Gorton number two. This is the water supply line, which we're about to cut. Well, we originally had it, had a uh, McDonald Meller number 67 on there. And the uh, god awful 101 a McDonald Miller feeder. There's really no reason why these, these things should even be installed, much less maintained. This should be all, all removed forthwith and uh, proper feeder installed. Well, we originally had a low pressure gauge and we had a uh, we installed a vapor stat. Uh, down to one uh, eight ounces and we had a uh, upgraded this to a uh, spark module and uh, proper pigtails and had an, uh, we had a McDonald Miller electronic low water cutoff backing up the um, the 67 and pretty soon this is going to be all taken apart and uh, pulled out of here and uh, 
in the coming, I guess, couple of weeks, we'll have the uh, new boiler will arrive. We're gonna have to squeeze it in down those stairs and uh, get this operational. So, thank you and stay tuned.